Hi everybody and welcome to Partridge Kitchen. I'm Jenny Partridge and this is my grandson Hutch and we're going to help you learn how to make rainbow pudding pops today. And the reason why we're making rainbow pudding pops is based on the story of Noah's Ark. 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 So what it is, is long, long time ago, about 1600 years before or after God created the earth, the people on the earth had gotten pretty awful and God was very sad. So God said, I know one family that really is great and that's Noah's family. Noah had a wife and three sons and they each had wives. And so he came to Noah one day and he said, Noah, I'm afraid I'm going to have to erase the earth and start again, but you are such good people that I'm going to save you and you'll start the earth again. Well, Noah's a little nervous about that, as you can imagine, because he was not a shipbuilder, but God said, I'm going to flood the earth and I need for you to build a huge ship that we're gonna call an ark. And the other crazy thing is, I want you to bring two animals, one boy animal, one girl animal, of each kind and the food to keep them alive for 40 days and 40 nights onto the ship. What kind of animals do you think he took on there? He took lots of animals, the most popular ones, but I wonder why he left up out the most unpopular ones like penguins and oxalotuses. Oh, I bet they were on there. We mm -hmm. just don't know. They were probably hiding someplace. Anyway, two animals of each kind on the ship. So Noah got busy. He was building the ark. Now, he was also building it in the middle of nowhere mm. and very far away from any ocean. And so his neighbors thought he was crazy. Crazy. So, but that was okay because Noah knew that God was with him all the time. So he kept building and building and building. It took him 120 years to build this thing. I know, it took him forever. What? I know, but he was faithful and he kept going. And then it started to rain. And Noah said, okay, let's get those animals on there. So. And Noah had each animal go on to the ship, which probably took a while, don't you think? It started to rain, started to rain. And Noah looked out into the vast wilderness and he said, I'm really sad because when I come off the ship, it's not gonna look this way again. But he pulled up the heavy door, locked it, and it rained so hard that it flooded the entire earth. Well, it did rain for 40 days and 40 nights. And eventually it did stop raining. And eventually they were able to open the doors of the ark again. And God said to Noah, you've been very, very faithful, Noah. And I don't think that I'm ever going to destroy the earth like this ever again. And the reason why you'll know that I will stand by my promises is that I'm going to put, what's he going to put in the sky? A rainbow. A rainbow in the sky. And every time you see a rainbow, you can be reminded that God always keeps his promises. So... In just a second, we're gonna make you some rainbow pudding pops. All right, so the first thing we do is we put two and two thirds cups of milk into a container. And then Hutch, we're gonna add one small box of pudding mix. Do you need any help opening that? I can open it. Okay, just make sure we don't. Thanks. Okay, I'll do this. Now you plop it in there. Nice, good work, good work. Oh, good, getting all the extra out. That smells amazing. I know, what does it smell like to you? Ice cream? Yeah, I think so too. All right, so what we're gonna do is mix this up and it's gonna take about 20 seconds or so or until your arm falls off, one or the other. <laughs> does it seem like it's getting thicker? Uh, it's gonna get a little thicker. Uh, yeah, it is thicker, mm -hmm. I think. It's getting there. Yeah, let's get the bottom, make sure we get all that mixed in there. Good. Do, 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 do. Mixy, 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 mixy. Do you want to mix for a while? Mm hmm Okay, go for it. Nice work. Do 
stop and start again. Three, sure. two, one, go. Okay. Well, now that this has been mixed back. for 20 seconds or until our arms fell off, that we each have the last one, we're going to pour a little bit in each one. Okay. And well, while I'm pouring. Did, all, did something just get all my hair? <laughs> I hope not. My Okay, why don't you put a few drops of food coloring in that one? Good. Then pick up the blue one and put that in the next one. So there's going to be an extra layer of each color inside there. Okay, I'll put the green one in here. And while you're doing that, I'll be mixing the colors up. Ooh, this one's beautiful. Are you, we allowed to do two at a time? Yeah, sure. Is this, what's this one? It's red, just, it said I didn't have a little red, so just put it, boop, boop, boop. Why is there another red? Well, that's pink. pink. Woo! Now, Jenny is a very sloppy cook. No, you're not. Look, I am a sloppy cook. I love every sweet you make. No, oh, thank you. I'm your biggest fan. <clears throat> Never forget that. Subscribe to our videos mm. anytime you might like. All right, if you want to mix, you want to mix this one? Do it gently. <laughs> or it'd be messy like All right. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I'm gonna love this purple one. I'm your biggest fan. Never forget that. Okay, I will right. Again. I didn't think I did the first time. I think we need a little more purple in this. What do you think? Mm, yeah. Yeah. We need a little more. Because there's nothing that's as yummy like food coloring. <laughs> I'm making a real mess. Can I add some of this? No, not yet. Yeah. All right, one more. Okay. So after you get all these mixed up, looking good. All right. So now, here you want to look this? Yeah, COVID times. Okay. So now. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So now we're going to put a little of each one in these containers. Now, what I need for you to do is kind of go like this after I put them in there. So that sort of, thank you. That sort of makes it all nice and level. Also sounds like hooves of a camel on the arc. What do you think? Okay, so we've got all the yellow in. Now, now we're gonna come back with the blue. Can and I'm gonna get on the other side of you. And that way you can do your tap tap thing. Even if you're sloppy, like Jenny is, make sure that you clean up after yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. And give it the sniff test. That's really important. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next give color. Sniff test. Tap tap. Thank you. Okay. Probably an activity you could do with flat John. Yeah, flat John. Okay, ready? Here we're coming back with purple. Purple. Tap tap. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Am I allowed to lick this? Yeah. In fact, I'm insist. All right, ready? What do you think, Hush? Does this sound like something you might want to eat? I would eat it all, even if I was, even if I had to give up $2,500. Woo! Woo! What a deal. Okay, our last color. I'll put it on the top. Now, here's the great thing. 
if you are just too anxious, you don't have to put these in the freezer. You could just eat them because they are pudding. But to make them true pudding pops, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of aluminum foil, put it right over the top, and then Hutch is gonna stick a popsicle stick in the middle. <laughs> And you do that with each one of these, and then you put them in the, in the freezer for about four to six hours. And then by the magic of the freezer, they come out all frozen. And then we find our scissors. Good job, Hutch, you're working hard. And cut them out. Yeah. I got to, I got to look at them. Okay. All right, so I'm going to cut this for you, and then you peel that off. Just peel that off. Am I going to, am I going to eat this? Yeah. Sure enough. So just peel that off, and then everybody will get to see what the rainbows look like on the side. Ooh. Right? Let me hold a stick for you while you pull that out. There you go. Pudding pop. Pudding pop. Cheers. Enjoy. Thank you.